guys, this is a very important video. Addison Ray has a movie. Addison mother effing Ray, bad bleep. I need a bad bleep. Addison Ray, the movie is out on Netflix and we're gonna watch it together as a family. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I am your biggest fan, Addison. Last video, I watched The Kissing Booth, another teen Netflix movie. And since I'm a teen and there's another Netflix teen flick out, I'm gonna watch it. This movie was made for my demographic. Yep, I'm a tween. I'm a tweeny. In all honesty, I'm actually excited to watch this. I don't really have an opinion on Addison Ray, you know? But I do have an opinion on her mom. Yes, ah. Uh, Q Addison Ray's mom dancing to WAP. I'm talking WAP, WAP, WAP. Ah! Uh, she better be in this movie. Cheryl, I'm pretty sure her name's Cheryl. She better be making a cameo and he's all that. So yeah, let's watch this. Have I mentioned Addison Ray's in this? Addison Ray! Addison Ray! <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so we start out the movie and we're in Addison's room and it's pink, 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 pink everything. She's a pink girl. So right from the get go, they're letting us know who our main character is. She's a pink person. Oh my God, her teeth so up close, cute. Up and of course she's famous. She's a famous influencer in this movie, just like she is in real life. Do you see what they did there? Do you see what they did? She's on live or something and she's just talking to her millions of fans. She's a pink, famous girl. It's your insides that count, but your outsides are the first thing people see. So true, Addison. That's such a good quote. Like, yes, your insides, your soul or whatever, that matters, but the outside is what everyone sees. So get that BBL. Get those kneecaps shaved. Get your elbows reducted. Cause first impressions are everything. <laughs> We're like a minute in and she's throwing out the deep quotes. I'm into this. Oh look, Addison's now gonna just warn us about drugs. Meth really messes you up. Yay, Addison! Uh, tell the youth, let them know that meth can, it can mess you up. Meth really messes you up. I have like a vivid memory of being in middle school during like a drug assembly. I loved those by the way, where they would like have someone come in who used to be a druggie and it was like, oh my God. And they'd like tell their story and like be so edgy and glamorous. But I do remember one time they passed around a baggie of meth so we could see it or like maybe it resembled meth. I don't know why they did that, but that was the first time I did meth. I took some out of that bag. Just kidding, I haven't done meth. Anyways. And it's a lot of pressure dealing with all this sudden fame. Oh, she's dealing with pressure with all of her fame. She better not turn to meth. Is that why she mentioned meth earlier? It was foreshadowing? Meth really messes you up. Shit, Addison. Yeah, he's all that. Meth is probably the title of the movie. I didn't see the long title. Addison, she better not get wrapped up in that. Girl. Wow, he is really blasting that music. Is he listening to himself? Yeah, so? Come on. Now Addison's gonna surprise her boyfriend who's also famous. He's a famous musician. Jordan! Jordan! Paget? Paget? What are you doing? What do you think they're doing? Okay, let's not freak out here, okay? Oh my god, I'm so, so sorry. I have no idea how this happened. Oh, and he's cheating. He is effing hoes in the trailer. Okay, and it's all caught on live stream. You're still alive. Oh shit, the whole effing world saw her break down, throw shit, get cheated on, which honestly is a blessing. Like I know in the movie, she's gonna be like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Why did everyone see that? But can you imagine? She just got so much free press. It's gonna be everywhere. The drama, the drama sells. That's how you get views these days, drama. Get into a scandal. She's playing the influencer game right. Her analytics are gonna be skyrocketing after this live stream. But of course, Addison doesn't see it that way and she's sat in bed in a full face of makeup with hair that is perfectly curled. Oh, she's going through it. Poor Addie. Girl, it'll be okay. You'll get through this. I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, how could this happen? Hey, so like a few people are being kind of mean. A few? Never mind, she's canceled. She's been canceled on Twitter because she assaulted someone in the live stream. And I guess everyone also is calling her Bubble Girl now because she had a bubble of snot in her nose during the live stream. So she's now Bubble Girl, the abusive Bubble Girl. She assaults people and she has bubbles in her nose. Her reputation is down the drain. Canceled, sis. So this movie is obviously gonna be about Addison remaking her brand, getting those followers back on her side. She's not gonna end this movie canceled. This whole movie is gonna be about her getting uncanceled. I believe in you, Addison. Where's her mom? I'm 15 minutes in almost. I know you were on the premises. Girl, get in front of the camera. Give us Cheryl. Let's trend that on Twitter. Give us Cheryl. Give 
give a Cheryl. Wait, Courtney Kardashian's in this. Of course, of course she is. Hi, what's up? You're going viral in the wrong way. Okay, so you saw the video and while it is unfortunate. Unfortunate? My ex-husband's hiking accident was unfortunate and he was mauled by bears. Oh my God, is, is he okay? Better than you. Okay, someone give Courtney an Oscar. Look, we pay you because you're the makeover girl. People buy products that you recommend. And I'm still that girl. No, you're a meme. You're bubble girl. And mucus is just not on brand for us. Courtney Kardashian, the actress? Who knew? Okay, we see you. Now there's a brand deal for Core Water randomly. Okay, get the bag, Netflix. I didn't think Netflix would have to do brand deals. Isn't like everybody on the planet subscribed? Like they would have enough money, but I guess as Rico Nasty says in the song, Tia Tamara, I've got a lot of money, but a lot ain't enough. That's sort of how Netflix is feeling. We already are the richest company in the world, but if Core Water wants to throw us a bag, we'll take it. I respect it. I know it sounds conceited, but makeovers are my thing. Exactly. And I made that guy. Oh, really? So why don't you just make another Jordan? Okay. So this movie is gonna be all about taking someone, being their true authentic self, and transforming them into a hot influencer. Love it. Let's change someone's whole personality. So now they're browsing through the school's losers, I guess. Yeah, they looked at this guy and they're like, no, like he's a loser too much. And then they saw this guy and they were like, he's a loser, but he can't be saved. He's too much of a loser. But then they stumble upon the perfect loser. This guy who looks like a male model, but he's like wearing kind of like distressed clothes. So he's a loser, obviously. He has long hair. And even though he has a male model face, he's the biggest loser in this high school. Of course, Addison's gonna transform him into the next Jake Paul. Hell yes, girl, let's do this. Where's Cheryl? Why hasn't Cheryl been in the movie yet? Hi, I'm Addison Ray. I'm famous. As you're probably aware, you're a loser. Can I transform you into someone cool? Okay, sounds good. They're now at a farm, like with horses or something. Addison falls in horse poop and she throws it at the loser. Addison just threw horse poop at the loser guy. Okay, I thought I was on Addison's side in this, but she already assaulted the girl who was cheating or whatever in the beginning. And now she's throwing literal shit at losers. She really is just like throwing shit at someone who she views as a loser. Okay, maybe she should be canceled. Canceled. Doritos product placement. Okay, get the bag. Get the bag, Netflix. I respect. Finally, now for some reason, Addison is singing and doing TikTok dances. This is what we've all been waiting for. She's big on TikTok and now she's throwing up the TikTok moves. Get it, girl? But plot twist. The edgy loser is watching her TikTok dance and he's falling in love even though he's edgy and not into popular girls. Okay, the love story begins. By the end of this movie, she's gonna be uncanceled. She's gonna be dating the loser and she'll also be a pre pregnant teen on the next season of Teen Mom. It's all gonna work out. Yes, where's Cheryl? Oh, look it, he jumped on stage and now they're singing together. This is romantic. By the way, I can't play the song they're singing because it's copyrighted, obviously. But just so you know, they're singing Ass by Big Sean. Ass, 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 ass. Now like make that mother effer Clementine. You guys, Queen Courtney is back for another acting scene. Saw the duet, 2.6 million views? Who's the new guy? A little scruffy, but cute. Okay, she killed it. Courtney, high five. High five, girl. So Addison and this loser guy, they're kind of falling in love a little bit. And now it's time for the big transformation to make him into a member of MagCon. He's not gonna be a loser anymore. He has his long hair. Addison's gonna cut his hair and transform him into Cameron Dallas. Let's do this. Look, it worked. He's now a member of Team 10. All she had to do is, you know, cut the hair up and uh, he's a male model, it turns out. But before with his long hair, we all just assumed big ol' loser, the biggest loser in school. Snip, snip, snip. Now he runs this shit. He's the most popular guy at this high school now, I bet. You're hot now. Get used to it. That's what the doctor told me when I woke up from my calf implants surgery earlier this year. I just had gotten out of anesthesia from the plastic surgery and he was like, Lucas, you're hot now. Get used to it. You're hot now. Get used to it. As we know, Addison Rae has already assaulted two people in this movie. First of all, she threw shit at that one girl, then she threw shit at the loser. Now, she's walking around this party saying stuff like this. Blow me. Girl, what'd you say? 
Blow me. Come again? Blow me. Addison, what? You can't just go up to people and say, blow me? Blow me. Addison has changed. She's the girl who wouldn't even say, Shorty's a bad bitch. I need a bad bleep. Addison, right now she's saying, blow me. Blow me. Great, they grow up too fast. Two male models are now fighting in front of a whole audience of people. This exact same thing happened in the kissing booth from my last video. This is a Netflix classic move. Two male models fighting, a group surrounding them, and like they take off their shirts and just fight. Okay, fight, fight, fight. Things are really heating up between Loser and Addison Ray. He doesn't like how Addison is, you know, kind of fake. Like he said that, oh, like online, like this fake influencer persona you have just isn't right, girl. You're so beautiful and you don't need to wear all this makeup. So in an attempt to make Addison more natural, he pushes back her hair and then wipes off her lipstick. Romance. He even attempts to take off her eyelashes, but she's like, no, like I want to keep these on. I don't get the pushing back the hair part. Like that doesn't really have anything to do with the makeup, right? Whatever. Anyway, what if Addison was just wearing the makeup for herself, huh? I like how this guy just assumes she's wearing the lipstick and having her hair pushed forward all for him. She's doing it for her own enjoyment. Gosh, you turned this guy hot and now he's bossing her around. Great. Where's Cheryl? Cheryl wouldn't put up with this. Yeah, which is why she probably thinks I'm running a meth lab. <laughs> meth is mentioned again. I love all these meth Easter eggs hidden throughout the movie. The writers are writing this. Let's mention meth a couple times in this teen movie. Let's do it. They're like giving notes on the script. Like maybe on page 93, mention meth again. Yeah, do that again. I like it, you know, love it. What's going on? Do you want to tell him or should I? After Jordan and I broke up, I lost my sponsorships. I made a but with Alden, that I could take some person and, and, and make them over. Oh shit, they're fighting. He finally found out that Addison has just been using him because she got canceled on the internet. So she tried to make him hot. So like that would somehow get her uncanceled. She was just using him for clout money and fame. So sad. So Addison of course is distraught. She's very down in the dumps and her mom holds a bra up to her to like support her and like comfort her. Aw, that's sweet. Oh shit, I feel an emotional monologue coming on. I lost my friends, but the only thing I truly care about losing is your brother. Okay. Courtney's not the only one getting an Oscar. Now this girl's crying, and I wasn't really sure why she was crying at first, but I guess it's cause like someone in their family died. That's sad. Addison is TikTok dancing at prom. Yes. A full blown dance off is occurring. I love a random dance battle. Like this hasn't even been mentioned before. Now it's dance battle time. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not kidding, it's been five minutes and this dance battle is still going on. I'm not complaining. I mean, I don't know why Cheryl isn't participating in the dance battle, but this is great. Slay! Oh my God, Addison won prom queen, even though she was canceled. I have a feeling we're about to get an emotional acceptance speech. This is the real me. <laughs> and so is this. <laughs> Let's not forget about this one. <laughs> That is snot coming out of my nose. Oh. <sighs> but here's the thing. For the last four years, I've been so busy selling myself on social media, putting out this image of who I wanted people to think I am. <coughs> this perfect person with perfect makeup, perfect clothes, perfect grades, the perfect boyfriend. <laughs> and trust me, nothing could have been further from the truth. This is beautiful. Sorry to interrupt this emotional moment, but that guy's hair in the audience is tall. It's beaming off his head. I think the reason why I noticed it is because I'm a bald. Oh my God, I want hair that tall. Anyway, now she's handing back the crown cause she's like, F this. This is all fake. I'm not accepting this. And she goes outside and instead Halsey wins. There's a Halsey cameo and she wins prom queen. Great. I didn't know Halsey was in this, but you know, there's a lot of 
of cameos in this. Okay, the loser guy who's now hot is riding a horse in to the prom to save her. That was out of nowhere. Like he just says he's on a horse and he knew she was walking out somehow. I'm all for this. I love a good horse romance moment. Oh my God, Courtney's calling, but Addison ignores the call. Are you kidding? I wanted another Queen Courtney acting moment. We're at the end of the movie. We could have had another scene with Courtney, but Addison had to ignore the call. God. Damn it, where's Cheryl? Now this is happening for some reason. Yes, drop it low, Zaddy. Get it, get it, yes. Now Addison and the loser who's now hot are dancing by the horse and the horse is like, okay, this is sick. Um, I can't play the song that's been playing during all these dancing scenes because it's copyrighted. It's actually Big Sean's song, Ass Again, for some reason. Ass, 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 ass. Now like make that mother effer Clementine. We're now at the end of the movie and Addison is now a travel influencer, which I guess is like character growth because at the beginning she was a beauty influencer, which is so vapid. And now she's a travel influencer, which is actually meaningful. Not my opinion. That's the opinion of this movie. I guess to this movie, beauty influencers are all fake. Oh my God, the beauty community on YouTube is gonna have something to say about this Netflix. Be prepared. You're gonna be involved in Dramageddon 3.0. Well, there's the movie, yes. Wait, you guys, we're at the end of the movie. Cheryl didn't even appear once. Netflix, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Netflix, what? Well, there you have it. That was Addison's debut movie. My final thoughts on the movie, let's see. I think I would give it three button plants out of five because Courtney wasn't featured enough. She should have been more of a main role somehow. Also, Cheryl wasn't in it. I'm not even gonna get into that more. I haven't even mentioned it, but Addison Rae's dad wasn't involved. What? Like, well, who made that decision? He's an influencer. I'm pretty sure he's a bank energy influencer and they didn't even get him to be in this movie. Who was that girl playing Addison Rae's mom? Like no hate to her at all, but why didn't they have Cheryl play that? Just saying. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you guys for for coming along on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another video like this. And I'm gonna TikTok dance until I break both my legs. Bye.